The evolution of the steam engine completely revolutionised our society. It opened new avenues for trade and caused mass migrations of rural populations into the newly industrialised cities. What I found most fascinating was the lessons its evolution taught us about science and engineering. This is one of the first practical steam engines and it was used to pump water. The engine was incredibly inefficient. Let's first talk about how it works. The engine takes energy stored in coal and converts it to heat. That heat is used to form steam, which expands into a piston cylinder, causing the pressure to increase and forcing the piston to rise against atmospheric pressure. No mechanical work occurs on the stroke because this chain can only transmit force in tension. The power stroke occurs when cold water is sprayed into the cylinder. This lowers the temperature, causing the pressure to drop. Atmospheric pressure now pushes the piston back down. But this reciprocating motion isn't much use for most applications, especially with this flexible chain connecting them. What we need is rotational motion, which requires a different setup. To convert this linear motion to rotational motion, we need a crankshaft and connecting rod. We have turned this piston cylinder on its side, so atmospheric pressure can no longer force the piston back down, so we need to use steam on the return stroke. This requires a control valve to control when the steam enters and leaves each side of the cylinder. The valve is controlled by a cam. The steam engine is now working on both strokes of the engine, improving its efficiency and power. But piston engines like this do not produce constant torque. They'll pulsate in speed and torque during a single cycle, like this. This can cause vibrations and jerky movement. We can reduce this with the use of a flywheel, which stores rotational energy with inertia and evens the torque out. The development of steam engines taught us a lot about thermal and mechanical efficiencies, and you may think that steam engines have become obsolete, but nearly all of our large power stations still use steam technology to convert heat energy, whether that be from coal, nuclear or solar, to mechanical energy. The technology has simply evolved into an even more efficient form, with steam turbines. The turbine casing alone weighs around 10,000 pounds. For the salvage team, that could mean $20,000. What I'm excited about are the huge circular elements revealed inside. They're the turbine blades, and they're really clever pieces of engineering. A turbine works on an ancient principle that by moving one large wheel connected to the other small wheels, you can convert thermal energy into a mechanical energy, using moving water or air to turn a wheel. Romans employed the technique to grind corn as early as 70 BC, and windmills were invented over a thousand years ago. Both are ancestors of Buck's huge turbines, which use steam instead of air or water to turn giant fan blades. These fan blades are mounted on a central shaft. The high pressure steam from the boiler is pumped into the turbine casing. As it's forced over the fan blades, the steam spins the blades and drives the shaft. The earliest turbines produced just under eight kilowatts of power, but the genius of that invention was its ability to scale up dramatically. Here at Buck, by a factor of 10,000, those turbines produce 80,000 kilowatts of power each.